Hey everyone, and Merry Christmas! I think Santa left something underneath the tree for me. Do you want to see what it is? Yeah, let's see. It's a present. Would you like to open it with me? Yeah. Come on, let's open it and see what it is. How awesome! Santa got me a book for Christmas. I love books. Books are one of my favorite presents at Christmas time. Would you all like to read the Christmas book with me? Well, come on. A piece of black cake for Santa by Yolanda T. Marshall. It was the last day of school before Christmas break. Femi rushed home to see what color of paint her mother had applied to the walls of their apartment. She was delighted to see a softly painted minty green room and snow white doors. Her dad smiled and said, it's beginning to smell a lot like Christmas. Femi laughed and replied, Daddy, it is just the scent of fresh paint. Femi and her parents decorated their house with blinking fairy lights, shiny garlands, and new red curtains. Can you find the red curtains? Yeah, the red curtains are right here. Good job. One by one, Mommy placed the wrapped gifts under the Christmas tree while Femi guessed what fun toys were hidden in them. The following day, Femi and her dad visited Big John's Caribbean grocery store with her mom's shopping list. They strolled down the aisle, gathering pear-flavored fizzy soft drinks, ham, pineapples, plantains, cheese, ginger, flour, sorrel, mommy, and various candies. On their way home, Femi and her dad visited the park to enjoy the activities at the local Christmas festival. The Christmas choir caroled in the snow. A young man played an African drum while the children danced. Vendors sold holiday gifts, hot beverages, and Christmas trees. Santa rang his bell and wished everyone a Merry Christmas. Femi was thrilled to see her friends Indira, Delroy, Trevor, and Marley. They found a big mound of snow and made a joyful snowman. While the parents kept a close watch and chatted among themselves, Femi and her friends made snow angels, enjoyed some ice skating, and took photos with Santa. Marley boasted about all the dishes she was looking forward to eating for Christmas. My mommy is making a black cake and I can't wait to eat a big slice, she said. Femi responded with a giggle. We all eat black cake at Christmas. Deloy asked, do you think Santa would like some of my mom's jug jug? My parents said that in Barbados, they ate it every Christmas. Santa should enjoy it for sure. Femi replied, of course Santa will enjoy it. I always do when I visit your home. My dad will be making our traditional Christmas drink sorrow. He will boil the red leaves and sweeten it nicely for Santa. Marley pointed out, 
The solo drink will match Santa Claus's red suit. They all giggled. Trevor said, I will leave a piece of my black cake for Santa on Christmas Eve, but I suspect my dad will eat it before Santa arrives. They all chuckled. My dad is a baker, so I must make sure Santa gets some fresh homemade plate bread, said Indira. Hey, that bread will go nicely with my mom's Guyanese pepper pot, said Femi. Mmm, said Marley. I almost forgot how much I love my mom's pastelas. She uses my Trinidadian grandmother's recipe. I enjoy watching her wrap them in banana leaves. I will put a Christmas bow on it for Santa. Trevor yelled, all these Christmas meals for Santa are making me hungry. They all laughed and rubbed their tummies. The parents rounded them up and they headed home to prepare the various traditional dishes. On Christmas Eve, all the children left food and drink on their dinner tables for Santa. On Christmas Day, the children were excited to find empty plates and cups. They messaged and called each other to share the good news. Femi watched as her mom unveiled the Christmas ham glazed with pineapple slices. Femi's family and friends visited for a potluck Christmas dinner. They ate pepper pot, gungo peas and rice, roast beef, baked chicken, curried goat, macaroni pie, breadfruit pie, oil down, pasteles, kalalu, sauce, nutmeg ice cream, and black cake. With their cups filled with mabi, ginger beer, and sorrow held high, everyone said cheers and Merry Christmas. And here they are. They're all enjoying a nice potluck Christmas dinner. The end. What's your favorite Christmas dish? Mmm, that sounds yummy. All this talk about food has me hungry. Come on, let's head to the kitchen. You want to see what I left for Santa? Okay, wait. I left some cookies on Santa's plate, but they're all gone. Hmm. Where'd they go? Who took the cookies from Santa's plate? Sister took the cookies from Santa's plate. Who me? Yes, you. Could it be? Then who? Who took the cookies from Santa's plate? Brother took the cookies from Santa's plate. Who me? Yes, you. Could it be? Then who? Who took the cookies from Santa's plate? Daddy took the cookies from Santa's plate. Who me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. I only ate two. <laughs> Daddy took the cookies from Santa's plate. Well, let's go get Santa some more cookies. Hey everyone. Ooh, what's that? It's snowing. I love the snow. What are some things that you can do in the snow? Yeah, you can make a snow angel, you can make a snowman. If you remember, Femi and her friends made a snowman and they made snow angels while at the festival in the park. Ooh, look at all the snowflakes. Do you wanna count how many snowflakes there are? Well, come on, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. 
There are 16 snowflakes in the air. Good job, everyone. Bye. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now you know your ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Hey everyone, today's arts and crafts project will be decorating a Christmas tree with pom-poms. First, you'll need a green piece of construction paper. You can ask an adult to cut out a Christmas tree for you, or you can just trace one. Both are just fine. You'll also need some glue and a handful of pom-poms. So first, you wanna start out by choosing whether you're going to do a cutout or a tracing. I'm going to use my cutout. And you're going to take some glue and you're going to apply it to your Christmas tree. And then you're going to stick on some pom-poms. Okay everyone, here is my pom-pom Christmas tree. Hi, I'm Austin. First we painted it and now we're going to decorate it. Let's decorate together. When you're done, don't forget the star on top. Happy holidays. Hey friends, sing along with me as I sing one of my favorite holiday songs, Jingle Bells. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. O'er the hills we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to laugh and sing a slaying song tonight. Oh, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Merry Christmas, everyone! Hey, everyone, it's Pup. Are you ready to do the colors at Christmas with me? Christmas is my favorite holiday, and I really like to decorate the Christmas tree. Do you know what color the Christmas tree is? Yeah, the Christmas tree is green. Awesome. Do you see anything red? Yeah. Santa's hat is red. Good job. Now, let's look for something blue. See anything blue? Yeah, the snowflake is blue. I love playing in the snow. Hmm, I see something brown and yummy. Can you tell me what it is? Yeah, it's the gingerbread cookie. Those are my favorite. Does anyone know what color that present is? Yeah, it's purple. Awesome job doing your Christmas colors today. I can't wait to see you all again soon. 
Bye-bye. Hey, do you see something sticking out of the stockings? Hmm, I wonder what it might be. It's a candy cane. Candy canes are my favorite. Look at all the candy canes that I have. Do you want to count how many candy canes I have? Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve candy canes. Hey everyone, are you ready to do some yoga with me today? Well, today's yoga session is going to be a little extra special because it's Christmas edition. Are you ready to do Christmas yoga? Well, come on. Let's start out by pretending to be Christmas trees. Stand up tall. Pretend like you have some lights around you, some ornaments hanging off of you, and you want to take your left foot and put it up against your inner thigh. Bring your hands together in prayer. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Awesome job being Christmas trees, everyone. Now, Let's pretend to be a snowflake falling down. So you want to go ahead and spread your feet apart, hands overhead, and as you fall forward, I want you to breathe out. So breathe in, and then pretend to be a snowflake falling down. Snowflake falling down. And then the snowflake hits the ground. Palms on the mat. Breathe in. And out to slowly come back up. Ooh, you all are wonderful snowflakes. Now, let's pretend to be one of Santa's reindeer. Turn to the side, step one foot all the way back, step one foot forward and bend your knee and breathe in, bringing your arms up and breathe out, bringing your arms down. Antlers up, antlers up. Antlers up. Good job, little reindeer. Now let's pretend to be Santa riding his sleigh. So you want to start out by sitting up tall. And we want to make our body into a V. So you want to lay back a little, extend your feet out. Ride the sleigh, ride the sleigh, ride the sleigh, ride the sleigh. Ride the sleigh. Ooh, riding the sleigh is hard work. Now, let's pretend like we are sledding down a hill. So you want to start out by sitting up tall, legs extended straight out in front of you, toes to the sky, and then you want to put your palms on the floor right at your sides and then straighten out your arms so you should look like this and now we want to ride the sled so we're going to go to the left inhale to the right exhale are you ready let's go sledding down the hill
Did you have fun pretending to sled? Awesome. Now I think it's time to go to sleep, close our eyes so Santa can come. So just lay on your back, palms at your sides facing up, close your eyes and let's breathe and wait for Santa. I hope Santa visits your home this holiday. Thank you for doing yoga with me. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe for more fun.